Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use the test scene inside Urban Traffic and Pedestrian System. After you've imported the plugin, open the Pedestrian System's setting window by navigating to Tools, Glay, Pedestrian System. Press the Import Required Packages button. This will import the Burst Compiler into your project. The Burst Compiler is required for parallel processing inside jobs. Press the Enable Pedestrian System button. This will enable the pedestrian scripts, so wait for the script compilation to finish. Notice that on the settings window will appear all the available options after it is enabled. Now enable the traffic system by navigating to Tools, Glay, Traffic System, and open the settings window. You do not need to import packages again because they were already imported from the pedestrian setup. Press the Enable Traffic System button and wait for the scripts to compile. Open the example scene located inside Glay, Urban Example. The scene is missing some materials because it was created with the standard renderer and this project is using URP. To fix it, navigate to Scene Setup and press the Convert Materials to URP button. Do the same thing for the traffic asset. Sometimes, when importing into URP, the light maps of the scene break and the scene might look very dark. To fix it, navigate to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and at the bottom of the window select Generate Light Maps. Now the scene should look properly. It is time to activate the vehicles and the pedestrians simply by pressing the Apply settings in both windows. It seems I forgot to press Apply settings for the traffic asset, that's why I got this error. I will press it now and try again. Notice that the pedestrian hit the player car even though it seems it had enough space to pass. This is due to the foot collider. This collider is used as a workaround to allow the pedestrian to climb the sidewalk, and it should only interact with the road layer. To do this, we have to set up our layers. In the demo scene, the following layers are used. Layer 8 for road, layer 9 for traffic vehicles, layer 10 for buildings, Layer 11 for dynamic obstacles, Layer 12 for the player, Layer 13 for pedestrians, and finally Layer 14 for the foot collider. Now we have to properly assign the corresponding layers inside the settings window. Open the pedestrian settings window, and inside scene setup, open the layer setup. Pedestrian layers should be the pedestrian's layer, not the traffic layer, so we need to change it to the correct one. The vehicles should be marked as dynamic obstacles for the pedestrians to avoid them. We need to do the same for the traffic layers. In this case, pedestrians should be marked as obstacles so that vehicles stop when detecting them. After the setup is done, press Apply Settings in any of the windows. From now on, if you made some changes inside the scene, you just have to press Apply Settings just in one of the Settings window, and the changes will be applied to both traffic and pedestrian systems. It is time to make that foot collider to collide just with the road layer. For that, navigate to Edit, Project Settings, and select Physics, and then Settings. In the Collision Matrix, disable all the check marks for the foot collider layer except road. Disabling unnecessary collisions will improve your game's performance. For example, static buildings should not collide with other static objects like other buildings or roads. Instead, they should only collide with dynamic obstacles, the player, pedestrians, and traffic vehicles. Your collision matrix should reflect this setup. It is important to configure this for all your layers to avoid unnecessary computations. Now you can test the scene and observe that the pedestrian properly avoids the player's car. Feel free to drive around and check how both vehicles and pedestrians behave. This concludes the installation tutorial.
feel free to follow us for more in-depth tutorials on traffic and pedestrian systems. Thanks for watching.